As you work in a project in AutoCAD, you're always looking for ways of using and reusing existing content. In this case, I'm going to create a block of the valve. A block is one or more objects combined to create a single object. I start by giving it a name, valve right. I'm now going to go ahead and create the base point, choosing a suitable point at top left corner. Now I can select the objects. I can use a window, but a crossing window is more effective, so we'll use a crossing window to select all the objects. When I select the objects, I can retain the original objects, convert to a block, or delete. I'm going to go with the default convert to block and use inches as the units. Now that the block is created, we can see that it's a single object as per that default behavior. I'm going to insert the block. From the drop down list, you can select it. It's already the default. Click on OK. And very quickly, I can place one instance of that valve right block. But what if I want to create these in other drawings? Well, I've created a drawing called valve underscore left. Any AutoCAD drawing can be inserted into any other AutoCAD drawing. Same procedure. Insert. But this time I'm going to click on Browse. I browse to where the drawing is located. Click Open. Click OK. And just as I did before, I click to place that instance of the DWG. And that's now a block definition within this drawing. If I want to change a block definition, I can right click and go to the block editor. Make your edits and then close the block editor. And that will make changes to all block instances within the drawing. Let's look at other examples of using blocks. Architectural floor plan is a great example of that. As I select each of these objects and review the quick properties, you'll see that each of them is a block reference. This is a very quick way to complete this floor plan. Each of these are block definitions within the drawing, and I can place many instances of those as I need. Now that you've seen how to create blocks as reusable content, let's look at two other ways of improving your efficiency in AutoCAD. The first is tool palettes. In this example, the Draw tab shows all the commonly used draw tools. The Modify tab is there also. This area is customizable, and as you become more familiar with AutoCAD, you'll want to change, add, or remove some of this content. The second way of improving your efficiency is through Design Center. An example of Design Center will be going to the Basic Electronics drawing area. And in that folder, we have the commonly used blocks. I can now just drag and drop those blocks into my drawing. So as you create libraries of blocks, you can use Design Center to manage those blocks for future use in an AutoCAD project.